Hello friends. So till now we have learned uh, programming, alarm generation, and so now I'm going to uh, talk here about how we can plot those uh, data uh, over the graphical representation into a trends or the traces. So let's see how we can configure trends and the traces in the vertices. So we need to follow the basic uh, guidelines. Uh, click on application, go to add object and then we can see uh, we have the option trend recording manager and traces. So let's start with trend recording manager. So we will click to add it. So it will give provide pop up to add the trend recording manager. Once we click it will get added. So once the trend manager get added into the application, so this will help us to create the new trends. Okay. So you know we can double click on it, but it will not give anything because uh, uh, we need to first go and click right click, and then it will give us the option. So we can check out the properties. So it has same uh, common build and access control. So all the object has the property. Okay, so now right click on it and go to add object and then trend recording. So we can give here the name or we can keep it the default one. So once the trend recording get added, now the all the properties for the trend recording get populated here on the right side. And here we can click right click there and click on the add variables. So this is how a variable can be added into the trend recording. So we can browse the tags which we want to add. Okay. So either we can leave it as a default colors and the plotting everything curve type how it will be, or we can even change uh, all those parameters. So it depends on us how we want to configure it. Okay. So this is the basic step uh, to get a trend coding added. Now, as it is a trend, so we need to also visualize it, correct? So let's add a visualization, visualization and name it as a trend. So in the visualization manager, we have uh, a graphic which is called as trend. So from there also we can add. So there are two different ways to add the trend. So either you create a visualization and go to special controls and drag and drop the trend so it will also create the trend object trend recording object or you can uh, do the way uh, we did for the first time so right click and add the trend so both both are having the same options okay but uh, it is so it will also when we drag and drop the trend chart here it will also create the object but we can configure the data source and the trend recording which one we want to use okay so it has to get uh, connected with uh, any of the trend recording uh, object so once it is connected let's download it so very basic steps uh, to record or trend any any data into the codices okay so once we once it get downloaded so let's wait for download it will take some time okay so it is downloaded let's change it to run mode and uh, once we change it to run mode we can see that the data is getting plotted correct so let's change the data of uh, the variable right now it is zero so let's make it to some value 13 and into to 10 so control f7 so it get changed and now let's go to the trend let's see how it got changed so you can see the diff it is uh, plotting in a, a different way correct so all the values from 0 for the in one change to 13 and the n2 is at 10 so two different colors with time and date so trends are getting plotted 
so this was all about uh, trends so we also have another option called traces so traces basically uh, how we will add so add object go to the traces click on it and then we have to assign the task for the trace recording so we can take any of the task and uh, assign it in the traces to that okay and click on the add so this is the trace which get added so traces is basically for uh, not the trend recording but it is for seeing uh, the changes which is happening uh, in the millisecond time frame correct so it will not have the details of the dead uh, or like that so it will show all the things so we have the option there to choose in what millisecond or we want to actually plot the traces so if you see here the resolution is millisecond I have selected and click on ok so save it uh, download it so once uh, we go online now uh, we have to right click and download the trace so if we have already one trace there so it will uh, say to overwrite it or delete that one and put this trace there and once it get downloaded yeah it will start tracing the data so if you see uh, the data of the in one and in two are getting plotted here so it is just showing it in a millisecond frame we can save the trace also by right clicking and all the options will come there so we can put uh, where we want to save it So uh, this is the one way to add the trace and uh, download it and uh, save it uh, into a local file also. Okay. So now if we want to uh, put it in the visualization, so uh, that also we can do. So let's go to the visualization in the trends itself. We will try to uh, adjust and put the traces here. So same special control trace. So here we will uh, put it. And then we can configure it. So configure trace. So same way we have to add the data. We have to define the task where it will be uh, running. So in which task it will be running add the variable so all the steps will remain same only the thing is that this will be shown on the visualization so once it is on the visualization you can see it uh, on a, a web page because web visual using web visual or, or the target visual will show it on a local hmi so that's how uh, we can utilize this traces so let me download it So once it get downloaded, So once it get downloaded, we'll put it into run, and then uh, we can see that uh, here itself uh, the data is getting traced out. Correct. So this is how uh, the two different ways we in which we can put the traces, and also do the recording of the trend. Okay. So let's change the data and see uh, some uh, value change in the plotting also. So I'm just giving multiple data change so that we can see. A step response or yeah so you can see that in the trend and in the trace 
this data is getting changed and we are able to visualize it so yeah that's all for trend and traces thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one